Hey guys, I am McD and welcome to McD Plays Our Darker Purpose. It has been quite a bit since I have booted up this game. I've just been busy with Dark Souls 2 and a couple other series and I wanted to let, you know, you guys catch up to where I was personally on it because I was recording them so far in advance. I figured, eh, might not be a bad idea to just take a break for a bit since I believe the most recent episode, episode 80 I think, uh, went up about a week ago. So now I've got a little bit of time in my schedule. And everybody's caught up on watching these videos. We can just go ahead and continue on. Oh, man, the last run. The last run. I, I had to rewatch a bit of it and uh, kind of analyze some of the choices I made. Obviously, not all of them the best, but hey, I beat the administrators and I got to what looks like might be the final boss this crazy ass paper creature who uh, clearly was not fun to deal with. Had a couple phases, I think. Um, but, you know, we did as well as we could, and I was pretty impressed with, uh, my performance, so there's room for, it, you know, getting better, obviously, and this is not a way to start that, actually, so we've already taken 15 fucking damage. What's in this room? Roly-poly. All right, roly-poly, roly-poly. Um, at least I'll be able to dodge a little bit of damage, which ain't too bad. Two, the first two items I pick up, we get the Treaty and Roly Poly. Roly Poly can help out, I just wish I would get it a little bit later in, in the run. Anything that's gonna kind of stave off damage for a while, let's keep it for, you know, bosses that are gonna really do the damage to me. Um, this, these first couple floors shouldn't be too bad. 50 to life, 10 to damage, let's go with 50 to life. Even though I would love that increased damage, but uh, the life right now, already bump us, uh, bumping us up. Could help quite a bit. Um, we'll focus on damage for the next uh, perk if we get it. And stop taking damage. At least I can uh, heal with this juice box here. Hey, don't block my shots, you creep. And we're back up to full health. Um, don't, don't take damage, please. A couple more rooms to scour before we make our way to the boss, who's probably Frothy the Dragon. I would not be surprised. But, um, let's go ahead, couple more bubble blowers. And I, I don't want to jinx myself, I hope the, the run isn't super long today, because I have got, I am starving, like, today is Game of Thrones pizza night, kind of like, it's very similar to Walking Dead pizza night, but, uh, we're gonna try something else this week, we're gonna try making some calzones, and I've got pretty much every meat under the sun that I would like to throw into my calzone. And it's going to be kind of a process because I haven't made a calzone in a friggin' long time. So it'll be interesting to see how it turns out and how long they're going to need to bake. Probably not forever. I would say 20 some odd minutes. But uh, yeah, bacon and sausage and pepperoni and ricotta and mozzarella and oh yeah. All the good stuff. None of that vegetable bullshit that my fiance is going to choose to do. And um, for doing that, she is going to miss out on amazing taste, but also probably hold on to another 20 years of her life, unlike myself. Uh, okay, so it's not frothy, it's obsolete operator, and I did end up getting the challenge with this dude, so I can go ahead and just breeze through him quickly. I'm surprised I actually rolled into him. Okay, so you're gonna go ahead and do your attacks, which is fine. Yes. Keep springing that nonsense up while I do this. And more than halfway dead. Um, and it looks like we've got two br uh, trash can brogs. I should probably kill some of you guys so I can move around a bit. Shit, get out of there. Uh, okay. And almost done. Don't stay in the center. Thank you for roly-poly, or else I would be taking damage right now. Hey, there we go. First floor complete. Got an A rating. We got leaderless or a brogs. So, leaderless... Th there's no champions on this floor, I'm assuming. I think I might want to go... Why is it a higher reward, though? There are some of the friendliest students at Edgewood. Stay away from the shadows. Uh, the graffiti on the walls look more solemn than usual. This floor lacks authority figures. We expect the rank and file are weaker as well. Nope, we're going this way. Going on a regular floor. I want to run across some champions so I can get um, some potential item drops. Um, hmm. Also... Um, I don't know if you guys have been watching the series a lot, but if you have, you might have noticed, um, 
in some of the more recent videos, wait later on in the game, if it's like a long episode and there's a lot of care, uh, enemies on screen, a lot of firepower coming at us, the game might freeze up for a moment. Hopefully, that's not going to happen anymore. Um, I had gone out recently and upgraded the rig. I do have... <laughs> I officially have an F drive now, <laughs> which is three terabytes, and uh, originally I was, oh shit, originally I was recording, uh, Fraps is on my C, Steam is on my D, and I would be recording to my D at the same time, so uh, data would be, uh, you know, being loaded and being saved at the same time on there. And now with the F drive, I'm just uh, loading games from Steam on the D and then recording to the F, so it might take off a little bit, uh, it won't be as much of a, a hassle. Uh, when recording and the game might not get choppy which so far in the Dark Souls 2 episodes it's proven a lot better so one can only hope it's gonna improve on our darker purpose as well um, William the Windswept is gonna drop me Cat's Cradle that's 15% slow on hits so that's gonna help us out with these assholes as long as I can nail one shot on them because all I like to do is just kinda go eh, I don't know which way I'm gonna go I'm gonna walk completely random my pathing is bullshit and we get a level up. Five to damage. Juice boxes permanently increase damage by two. Two to juice boxes. I'm going to go with damage. If we're going to keep increasing our damage every time we pop a juice box, I'm down with that as well. Unfortunately, I couldn't pick up Horn Beast Steak on the last floor. We could get Zelo spectac Spectacles, and that will increase our range. I will actually go with that. So get a little bit of a farther shot here. Here's hoping that we pick up the Candelabra Matchsticks, right? Yeah. What? <laughs> I always ask for it, I generally don't receive it, but uh, I don't know, the the last run went as far as it did probably in part to the RNG hearing my prayers and giving me some stuff in clutch moments that made the rest of my time a bit easier. Um, I don't want to pop the juice box yet even though it would increase our damage. I think I'd rather save that just in case the boss gives us an absurd amount of trouble. Hey! Hey! Split pea soup. Get over here. Don't do your crazy ass jumps at me. Whoa, you guys are blowing bubbles up a storm over there. Okay. And we have a token drop, which is nice. We could get disquieting draught or unsettling concoction, whatever was in the uh, vending machine. If we can get four more tokens. I wouldn't mind picking that up just to kind of buff up how much a juice box heals us. Okay. Hey. There we go. And there we go. So four more tokens. So I'm going to get my, my, my wish. Uh, again, RNG might be listening to me. I'm completely cornered. And there's nothing else in this room, so let's boogie on out of here. Go, Cordy, go. I will heal now. Since I was close to about have taken 20 damage. And this is a pretty easy room. Unless these things want to catch me off guard and do some crazy jumps. Another reason why I don't want the run to go on for forever, forever today, even though I really want to be successful. It's not only Monday uh, Game of Thrones Pizza Night, it's Monday Night Raw. And if you guys are subscribed to this channel and you don't know that I watch wrestling, I, I don't know, man. Where have you been? I am a child. I am an absolute child. Uh, and I need to watch really bad acting with some pretty awesome uh, wrestling some technicians and what have you. Uh, kill a couple more so I can get some EXP, please. There we go. And let's open this up, please. Quickly. Ah, Fedora. Reduces all damage by 25% when under 25% life. I'd rather take the Horned Beast Steak, but eh. So I will definitely come back through here and use all of these juice boxes on the way out. Even if I don't take damage from the boss because I want to up my damage. So, Disquieting Draught, you got it. Healing for 25 now. And let's go tackle our boss. Candelabra of Longing. Who knows, maybe I'll get lucky and end up getting the matchsticks later on in the run. But uh, for right now, we're going to sit and avoid running on the, the spikes or the glass, whatever. Yes, turn the lights back on, please. Uh, I, I've been doing fairly well against this boss recently. I haven't been getting tagged too much with the green flames. Uh, however, it goes to show just how rusty I can be because I've already taken like three or four hits. Uh, okay, there we go. And I really should start putting to memory where the glass shards are in this room so I can move freely in the dark instead of having to be 
subjugated to chilling in this uh, middle area. But, uh, hey, we're going to take damage. That's fine. I was going to go back for the juice boxes regardless and up our damage. I think now it's just going to be a question of can I get uh, increase my critical chances, which would be nice. Okay. Pop two juice boxes. Let's go get the other ones. Okay. Whoop. And... One more. I think there's actually a challenge for healing yourself when you have one damage. So let's uh, let's go ahead and take fire damage. Six times four is twenty-four, right? Uh, yeah, that doesn't work. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking there. So let's just uh, don't take all this damage. Let's heal there, and we're full again. Let's get this final juice box, and we've upped our damage like by six. Which ain't fantastic, but it's better than nothing. I will go ahead to the boss room and get out of here. And we'll move on to floor three. What do we got here? C ranking. Wound words, cafeteria, too small, pitch black. We're going with the too small. And I will gladly fight the wound words kids as opposed to the brogs. Ugh. Pitch black, no thank you. Even even if I don't have Nevermore's Inkwell or anything else to make my time uh, even more difficult, the pitch black would suck, and I would not want to have to deal with that. For the extra merits I would get, f that, dude. Um, oh, I dodged it because I have Roly Poly still. Apparently, I thought I've taken way too much damage, but okay. Let's move over to the right. Oh shit! Fast Brog. Almost got me, but I rolled when he did the damage. And we have, like, a Hudson Duster or something coming up here. Hopefully, this guy will drop us the Candelabra. I would, I would love that very much so. Tabula Rasa. And I will sit here and just throw all the shots at you all day, my friend. I am not going to get confused. I won't allow it. Okay, and it's the fucking thorns. Man, I hate this power-up. Continuing on. Got ourselves a green blob. Okay. Made quick work of this room. Oh, shit. I thought I was going to beat him in that one hit. It took two more, actually. Globeman! And there's more than one. There's more than two. So, thankfully, I dodged that attack. Let's get above you now. Yeah, come out of... Ah, oh, shit. I walked right over the spikes. And I'm going to have to take damage over the spikes to get this stuff, but... I just use really pulley to help me out. And what do we got? Oh, we got to level up, actually. Gain 20% move speed. Nope, I'm taking damage. If I, offensive chalk attacks do double damage. Blah, I can't speak. It's surprised that I'm not warmed up right now. Should I sell his diary? It would probably be worth it. Let's hold off and see if we can get that. If not, we'll get disquieting draught. But uh, I'm surprised I, I'm not warmed up to talk because I've been talking on phones for eight hours today. So... Go fig, right? So we're in the 100 range for damage now, which is pretty good. I will take it, and we'll work on increasing that a bit. But I think the next time we get offered, um, hopefully, 50 more health, uh, I'm probably going to spring for that. Let's move up here. And another survive room. So let's go ahead and, once again, try to knock out some of these enemies and get some free EXP. Well, not free. I'm going to have to fight them, but... Come on. Come on. Get over here. You're dead. Now, what's in this chest? Yes! Sock Snake! We're going to get two shots now. I like that. I do not want to go to the boss. I would rather go down here. So doubling the shots up already. I'm, I'm jazzed. It's going to help a bit. Especially since we're doing 100 per hit. Now we just need to increase that critical and I'll be even happier. And you're already dead too. Um, I would like... Hey... I would like this coin without taking damage, thanks. Give me that token. Looks like we've covered a majority of the floor, so I don't think we're going to have enough tokens to get Shy Stella's Diary, although that would be great, just being able to get 2% of our overall health back after 5 kills. Um, Juice box, though. That's good. Use it to heal up. Increase our damage a bit more. And yes, please avoid that. Oh, and I forgot we have Zelos, so that's going to increase our distance we don't have to get super close now and we got six we could get disquieting draw again 
I did say we were going to go with it, so let's go for it. We'll be healing for 30 HP now. And... There we go. F Prodigal Photo Album, that is my new mantra. I think York Skull uh, tends to help us more. So if that drops, which doesn't usually drop until way later on in the game, um, but if it drops, you can bet your ass I'm going to take it. Um, I would like to land some shots on Frozen Few, please. Okay, and now I don't have the potato battery this time out, so I'll probably be caught off guard by some of these shots, and uh, that's not fun. But I do have the specs, so I can stand back a little bit more, maintain a bit more distance on this boss, and it's already more than halfway dead. So we're going to go to the... we're going to go this way. Go to the left. Left is the correct answer. Let's go right here. Spew your, spew your fog. Thank you. Roll in. Get our hits. And nice clear hallway that you've made for me. Let's sit back and dodge this correctly, hopefully. Okay. So four shots are out. Come on. I don't feel like dealing with this anymore. I'd rather just sit here and tank the shots. There. Okay, that was a quick fight on Frozen Few. And we ended up getting an A ranking. Uh, we're moving on to Wound Warts now. And we are a little bit less than halfway to leveling up. We do have the uh, notator, whatever, uh, the archivist or whatever, which is a dude. And I forgot his name or uh, his name just now, but everything is good. I'm back on track. We do have a champion, and it's another uh, poisonous cloud man. So I would say chair hurler needs to go first, obviously. Um, yep. Yeah. Okay, and we'll get over here. A couple more hits from Snock. 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 Sock Snake should do it. There we go. And again, we pick up Sudsy's Ice Tray. <sighs> I'm getting tired of picking up that item in every run. But it's better than nothing. And, you know, it can cause some damage to other enemies if they're actually next to each other. Archivist, you didn't go into any walls yet, so let's head over to the right. Hey! Knock it off. Man, these brogs always catching me off guard. Um, yeah, Archivist wasn't in this room either. And if she was, or if he was, I didn't notice it. Uh, those are hands, and I totally forgot hands exist in this game. Should probably be wary of that. Let's move up here. Yo! Knock it off, buddy! Oh shit, chair hurlers. Chair hurlers. How many? Just the one. I can handle that. Now, you. Oh shit. Oh, well, good thing with the roly poly still going here. Now, over to the right. I've got Archivist in this room. Let's keep moving. Keep moving. One more of you to go? Yep. And we can we have a juice box that we can use. Is there a token? There was a token. Of course, I'm going to pick that up because I haven't... I don't think I've passed eight tokens yet in this run. I've spent them when I've gotten them. Okay. Finish these guys up super quick. Um, fuck your hands. And I finally took some damage for once on this level. Um, I am cornered. And that was probably going to happen, so... Archivist is going back out again. Come on. You gonna drop something good for me? I, I'll take a free disquieting draught. I do not want to take Nevermore Zinkwell, but I'll take the draught. Um, adds an extra life for us. I don't know. I think I'd rather go with extra damage right now and the 50% more chance of chalk, juice boxes, and tokens. They always give me the extra life so early on in the run where it's like, I'm fine right now. Shit, I went to the boss fight and I wasn't even paying attention. I am an idiot. Uh, well... Looks like we're going to be taking on the fortress a bit earlier than planned, but uh, shouldn't really affect us at all. We'll clean up the rest of the floor after this. Actually, I should probably do something about you, right? Yeah. That, wow. Without even criticals, just with double shots from Sock Snake and doing 100 damage a piece per shot, that's been helping a bit, and it's not taking long to destroy some of these shacks. Let's just keep dodging this nonsense. Okay, 
Enemies have slowed down a bit because I popped Student Treaty for once. Proving its worth. Which ain't much, to be honest. Let's get Goneril's Mallet again. Let's get fucking Reagan's Lunchbox. Something. I want something in my E-Equip that's actually worthwhile. My face lights up, and I wish you guys could see it. Unfortunately, I don't do face cam, but uh, my face literally lights up when I get uh, Goneril's Mallet. If, uh, I, I get so happy. But uh, the fortress is last here. And we're going to go ahead and whittle it down as quickly as possible. It just sucks that I can't get double shots off as often because I have to continue to move. Get out of my way, tall kid, bully. And we're only doing like 50 some odd damage. Uh, the defense on the, on the shack is pretty good, or on the fortress rather. Goneril is going to pop out now. There she is. But uh, I will just go ahead and continue to take on the fortress until that is gone. Let's get rid of those projectiles, please. Okay. One-on-one -on -one with this chick is always pretty easy. It's just going to be better when I can actually get dual shots off. I do have increased range. I should be able to hit her from farther away, which is nice. I, I was going to say that will help when I'm avoiding her lightning. Obviously, I didn't <laughs> at all. And there we go. And please stop doing that nonsense, bullshit, lightning jump. I hate that move. Uh, of course she's going to just keep doing it. Just to, just to piss me off, Goneril. I, I'd rather you'd go into your Tasmanian devil mode. Slowed her down for two seconds. Yep, that's fine. Why am I going down to the chalk? I don't like that. Uh, okay, so are you just going to go into an endless loop of this? Yeah, you are. Man, I wonder what gets the AI going where it's like, yeah. Yeah, just keep doing that shit. That's right. Pop two juice boxes to increase our damage a bit more, get our health back. There's at least one of those juice boxes still hanging around the floor. We we'll probably end up picking up another one uh, before the end of the floor. And there we go. Almost dead. Almost dead. Finally. Shit. Okay, let's finish this floor. We'll go over to... Nope, don't want to go that way. I want to go to the right. And we should level up before leaving. There's the archivist again. Another chair hurler in this corner. Okay, moving on. We have a survive. Oh, I can certainly do that. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't remember this ever being a challenge room. This is kind of nuts. And that hand's not going to go away. <laughs> Shit. Figures. Uh, but we did get 15% extra range, which I'm fine with that. That's a suck challenge room. It's nigh impossible to not get hit. Two tokens, enough for nothing. And to be honest, this vending machine sucks. Cinder's time key can blow it. Let's go ahead and pick up a juice box. Oh, there's another token right here. Missed that on my first time through. I apologize. Let's move down. Oh, shit. Another juice box. That's handy. We're back to full. And I should probably use one to heal up to full, right? Let's hold off. Move down here. And still haven't found the archivist's room. And to be honest, I haven't been paying attention that much every time I walk into a room. So... There's not many more options left. Oh, we're not going to level up before the end of the floor. Got about another 3,000 to go. Are uh, you going to head south? Nope, that's it. I missed out on whatever room it was in, and I don't feel like backtracking to see if I can gain access to it. Instead, we are going to just get out of this floor. Five tokens. That's enough to get something at the vending machine. However, I don't remember there being a disquieting draw. I think it's just... Um, what was it? Chalk? I don't need chalk. I'm fine. Uh, I'm happy with the six for right now. Let's go ahead and finish up this video. Got a C ranking. And yeah, thank you guys for joining me. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and comment on it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time.